What you just watched is an unforgettable classical music performance by Philharmonic Orchestra in London Royal Festival Hall, shot on the brand new Meta 3 12.5K, which is camera. If you don't know Meta camera, don't confuse it with Facebook, which is now also called Meta. Meta Camera is an UK-based VR camera maker that has been around since the early days of videos. You are watching some sick slow motion video captured with the earlier version of the camera called Meta 2. Meta 2 is a 6K 60 frame per second to 120 frame per second camera, which will allow you to capture slow motion for Spot 360. Meta 3, on the other hand, is Meta 2 Bigger Brother that focus on the ultra high resolution for the demanding need of virtual production. Take a look at this beautiful fully shot right in front of my house in Venice Beach, California. One thing you will notice immediately is the ridiculously high dynamic range. Look at the sun, it captures every bit of the highlights and at the same time, all the shallow details of the skate park with literally no noise. It has 14 stop usable dynamic range, higher than any DSLR or even some of the professional cinema cameras, for example, the Black Magic 12K. In this 12.5K downscale to 8K to see video, we will review the Meta 3 with my hands-on footage to show you everything you need to know about this very high-end camera. Make sure you set your resolution to 8K on your YouTube player before playing this video. I would highly recommend watching it on your 8K TV using the YouTube app on Apple TV for the best quality. Or you can watch it directly inside your Meta Quest 2. The best VR headset to see its full quality is the new Vario Aero VR headset, which I will also review in my next video. So I will provide the Stitch 12K footage for you to download as well. Check the link in this video description down below. If you want to future proof your VR film, let's check out the review now. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hugh here. You just saw some amazing footage shot on this camera. What is this camera? This camera is the brand new Meta 3. There's only two in the world right now, one in front of me filming us right now and one is actually in the Biome in UK. That's the footage you just saw. So let's talk about spec. Uh, but before spec, I have a chart right here. And if you turn around, Kitty is actually standing in the stitch line about literally two feet away from the camera. And there's a plan right here, also two feet, actually 1.5 feet away from the camera. Behind me is a chart that is like pretty far away. It's also in the stitch line. So we see how sharp is uh, subject right there around the camera. So I am standing like one arm, two arm, two arm length away from the camera. So uh, this brand new Meta 3 camera, let's talk about spec. It's 12.5K, 30 frames per second, 14 stop dynamic range, can capture ProRes and RAW. Uh, some kind of compression RAW, uh, but it can shot RAW as well. So 14 stop dynamic range, it's electronic aperture control from 3.5 f3.5 to f20. So you can control the aperture individually or sync all the lens together. Uh, the big media store in four individual CF card. A CF Express card, uh, so you can you can also actually uh, get it out using a USB-C cable into SSD. Uh, this camera also has four HDMI, so you can pipe all individual camera feed out and stitching in post like in uh, Voices, or they actually may have their own live stream software, so you can live stream 12K and. What, why you ever want to live stream 12K in VR? Well, because 12K allows you to do superimpose. Uh, you can do something called area of interest in light spot, so you can zoom all the way in. Uh, so capture that, you can use the back play for virtual production, uh, live broadcast, and all the great stuff. So now I gotta walk around the camera 
And now I am in a stitch line. Keep walking around. Uh, while I'm walking around, I will continue to talk about a spec. Uh, actually, let's just do a circle test. And then I gotta go really close to the camera, front facing the lens, step back, step back, step all the way back, really far away, right here. Okay. You're the garbage truck. Yeah, you hear a garbage truck, you can hear it. Uh, now I go into stitch line really close, and now I'm taking the stitch line, step back, and just one more circle. Sorry about audio, it's a garbage day. Uh, but now you see the stitching and distance test right there. I, I'll just stand a little bit far away and do a stitching test. I'm talking about right here. You're gonna look up and see me. Actually, let me test the, the ceiling. So I gotta go on top. So now the kit doesn't have a top camera on the, cam uh, on, the, on the camera, but let's see how good is the top stitching as well. So when we see it and bottom stitching. I'm just go to the chart in the bottom. Now under the tripod, get back out. Okay, so I'm just standing on the fireplace and so look up to me. Uh, the camera is gonna be available on 35,000 US dollars. Uh, it's the most high-end professional camera you can get uh, for Sony Super 35 uh, backlit CMOS sensor. Uh, so it practically can see in the dark. Uh, really good. Uh, lens is a special made lens for this camera. Uh, because of the design of the camera, they can really get a sensor close together for a Super 35 sensor. Uh, so that is bigger than Titan, bigger than um, like the Zcam uh, V1 Pro, and bigger than the Obsidian Pro. That's crazy. So this is the biggest sensor VR camera, you see camera out there in the market, uh, and 12.5K uh, full resolution. Now it doesn't have gyro stabilization, so uh, if you want to stabilize it, you need to use physical stabilize, physical gimbal on a rover. Yeah, so this camera is also powered by regular power, like what we mean regular power is a V-Log battery. You can power any V-Log battery into the camera, have Wi-Fi and have all the signal that you can control it remotely. Uh, so you can do live stream or monitoring. Another great feature of this camera is no fans or moving parts inside the camera that generate noise. Heat is dissipated via the full aluminum casing. This means it can be used in music capture like what you just saw at the beginning of this video. It has all the professional ports, including mini XLR for audio, limo socket for power, HDMI, USB-C, and a gigabit port for wired camera control and live streaming. It even has a port for serial command control, like the Raspberry Pi for motion detect trigger. Great for wildlife VR shoot and long-term installation. As you see in this sunset shot, the camera is great for low light thanks to its duking ISO. Like the Kendall Obsidian Pro, this camera can also adjust focus, but the default is at infinite focus and we recommend shooting at aperture f5.6 for the sharpest image quality. This is a rolling shutter camera, but it has blind level sync. It has a sync port to connect an additional top camera for VR drone application. So yeah, so that is Meta 3. And we hopefully gonna get a chance to actually use this in a real production someday and to show you the real result of this camera. Again, it's your boy Hugh Ho. Don't forget to subscribe to learn more about this camera and all the other Meta camera, Meta 1, Meta 2, and this Meta 3 camera. Check out our latest project, and I will see you next time. Jump around. Do a jump. Jump off of the thing. Okay. In front of the camera, right in front of it. Okay. Just watch for your step. Yeah, do it one more time. Like that. Legs out. Yeah. Oh, legs out. Okay, I know yeah, what you're talking. Out. You want me to do a trick? <laughs>